Oh my god, I haven't done this in so long. Okay. Hey guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new. And today's video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be a music reaction. And today we are reacting to Victoria Monet's song experience with Khalid and SG Lewis. I low-key went on the song. Does that even make sense? Do I know how to say sentences? I went to the song on YouTube. I didn't listen to it. But I went to the comments and people were like, oh my god, sis popped off. And I was like, I need to know. I need to know the information. I need to know the information. From what I see like on my screen, first of all, let me set up the screen recording. Actually, no, I don't need to screen record. Um, but what I see from my screen, it looks, I don't know if you saw the cover art. Proud by Kaimani, Kamani, Abstract, Kamani underscore 561 on Instagram. Go support a black producer. Um, You know, it looks like 70s, 80s, disco. Dope. Do you see the melanin glowing in this cover art? It makes me want to cry. Well, in a good way. <laughs> ah! You know, like... And I love, I love, it looks so vintage though. That's what I meant by like 70s, 80s. AKA equals vintage, sir. Duh. But so we are gonna get into this song. Um, do you have? What do you expect from this song, sir? Um, honestly, so split RB. Oh yeah. Like, I feel, I feel why did I have an? Song. Why did I have an idea in my head that it was gonna be pop? <laughs> when you heard R and B, I was like, when you said R and B, I was like, oh yeah, duh. I mean, it could be. We don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Either way, I feel like it's gonna be good. But like, let's 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 get into it. Let's listen to it. Let's you know. Let's take in the good music. Oh my god! Of course, there's an ad, but like we support. But like, I'm skipping. Sorry. Don't skip mine. No, I'm kidding. Hold on. Oh! What'd you say? I said slow, this is a beat. Literally. Victoria Monet is so slept on, but y'all won't ever admit it. Go stream New Love. I don't care if it's two, three years old. Yes. Go stream New Love. Yes. Period. Okay? Y'all go hype up Miss Victoria Monet. But anyways, continuing on. Oh my god, this is so funky. How do you not like this woman's music? I don't get it. Like, can you please explain? Don't explain because it's wrong. Um, hello. This is what I want in music. Like, that R&B, that funky, that... It just gives me everything. You know? It gives she me everything. Not she not doesn't, all. and y'all be sleeping for some odd reason, and I don't get it. But, like, I was sleep too soon. But now I'm awake. But y'all need to wake up too, because, like... Oh my god! Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I should be looking at the lyrics, huh? That's smart. Hold on. I'm looking up the lyrics. I know my dog Khalid can slide in on this. Oh, I know he's gonna do so good. Like when I was like when, when I was pausing or whatever, I was like, oh my god, like imagine Khalid's voice. I can't, cause like, oh my god. Okay, all right, now I'm looking at the lyrics. So. She said, I'm hoping that experience can get you to change. I was just letting you know what she said, cause I was reading the lyrics. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Yeah. 
don't necessarily I know everybody has their own taste in music but I don't understand how if this this would have come on the radio come on in the car whatever how do you not get jiggy to how do you not feel the funky now, how do you not feel funky like you're gonna want to just Open up his pants and want you to change. Like, you know, like, ah! oh my god, I support my good sis. Oh my god, period. No, seriously, go stream New Love though, because, like, I promise you, that's one of the best songs, but y'all slept on it, and I'm blaming y'all. You, right there, I blame you. Just kidding. I mean, like, kind of, but, like, yeah. Anyways, continuing. <laughs> Funky, so good, so fresh, and so clean, clean. Like, oh my god, <laughs> that was so good and so funky. I'm like shook it. I'm happy that they actually still decided to release the song because I, the reason why I think I knew about the song even was because they came out with a statement saying that they were like going back and forth on like withholding the song for now, but like they were saying how like you know music is so basically it's a way of expressing themselves and an escape. For them like an escapism which i agree with like music is an escapism for me i can't imagine for someone like you who's a producer or a writer or a song just an artist you know so i'm happy that they still decided to you know come out with the song because as we were listening to the song i was actually reading on genius because they took her statement that she that victoria put out with apple music and she was saying um basically it's important to us to highlight and celebrate black joy and love in the middle of so much pain and trauma and like i actually agree with that like i was just like oh my god because like you just feel like so like funky and you just like oh my god you know like so i'm happy that they still came out with it and she was also explaining how june is black music month and also pride month and you know just to celebrate you know not only the lgbtq plus but also black music and I'm really happy that they still decided to drop this song. I think in these times, like sometimes, you know, we do need an escape, although we do need to pay attention to everything that's going on, you know, in a healthy way in order to educate ourselves and to help make a difference. Like, also, we also need to free our minds and escape because like these things can be so heavy on our minds. Like I know like Prob K Money and I have been a little down, you know, it's it's sad to see the world in such a place but also good to see the change and the stance that is going on around the world it's not even just in america like around the world think of japan have black lives matter protests like you know so i'm happy that they still decided to release this song like it just shows the strength and just beauty of black music what do you think i can agree that like as an artist and as someone you know, that's creative within music. Yeah. I can understand, like, the hesitancy on wanting to drop. Because, mm -hmm. honestly, this entire time, I felt like it's been wrong to kind of promote music and kind of, you know, getting back into that lane with everything going on. But I do like that well, they yeah. dropped the song. I do like that they still went with it because... I know people need the light in this song. Yeah, but also like how, especially on Twitter, you see all these black businesses being promoted heavily. It's like also promote our black artists who have been creating great music for years, but have been overshadowed by other, you know, good artists. But this type of music is what should be on the top charts and stuff. Like, how is it not? Like, you know? Exactly. Sorry, I interrupted you. I had to get it off. <laughs> no, you're good, you're good. Yeah. But yeah, like I do, I do love that they still dropped this song, and I do think that it's the time that. We should still be promoting black artists and black music and because these are black experiences that deserve to be listened to and deserve mm -hmm. to be um you know made known so i love yeah. the song i will give it a 10 out of 10 oh me too i give it a 10 out of 10 i didn't even have to say it y'all knew because y'all heard the same thing that i just heard so a 10 out of 10 period um it's beautiful Khalid never disappoints. For some reason, I guess because I knew that we were going to film this video today, I was listening to... I, I didn't even listen to Off The Grid today with Alina Baraz, but I was... Um, it just kept playing in my head, but it just... How he came in that song just kept replaying in the head. I was peeing. I heard the beginning of... I was eating. I heard the beginning of it. I'm just like, Khalid is talented. Like, sir, you got me through a lot. Like, you're watching a like, hello. But, like, thank you for your music. Like, period. Oh, and Victoria Monet. You know what? I you know what? Is it a conversation? No, I can't because I'll just go on a rant because Go stream new love. I don't care if that song is two, three years old. It deserves How did that song no it's a buff. No 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 no. How the freak? I don't have a uh, do I have a problem with six nine? I don't care. 
you know but like his music i guess whatever people find it catchy but how the hell did that shit get number three whatever but you're telling me new love and get number three number one how do you know how good that song is the music video the taste the flavor i need like stream it you know like i'm i'm mad um no hate but like i'm just saying you feel me like how is that music not recognized like that really deep and good r&b that holds like that old school flavor but brings a new school to it why is that not paid attention to and it's catchy and it's something that you can move to it makes you move you cannot just like sit there still and listen to i think the song, songs, you know? this song deserves to be on top 10 and if it's not it's rigged no it's not but like you know like y'all just need to stream it like i will be playing it on mute and on loud no, I'm not. But you know, I'll, I'll be listening to it. I'm down. I'm definitely downloading it. Like, hello. Support. Stream. Download. Bye. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. What did you guys think of the song? Let me know down below in the comment section. Um, and yeah, I also still have the resources that I've been putting in my other videos at the end of this video in my bio to donate and also mental health resources because things are still really heavy. So yeah, I thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Easy to